So in R, you can do it with, uh, that's the bottom line of the uh, expression of the code over here. So if I picture that, it's gonna be the magenta line. So where I used P equal to one to do the local moment uh, matching. Yeah? So you see that you're capable of discretizing this uh, gamma distribution. And once you have this discretized version, you're now ready to run, for example, the Panier recursion to, uh, to get the distribution of a compound sum S, where the uh, terms in the sum follow a gamma distribution, which you arithmetized, which you approximated with this um, local moment matching technique. The one in blue and the one in green, these are other types of approximations. Um, which are available in the actual package in R. So we're not going to discuss these, but you see that the blue one is consistently um, above the, the CDF and the green one uh, below. So that's just another way of, of constructing uh, the approximation. So what you then see, if I'm now going to look at S being compound sum with a parameter lambda equal to 10, if I use for the severity distribution a gamma with certain number of parameters. Then I can look at the aggregate distribution of S and I can look at it either by running simulations or I can look at this distribution of S by running the Panier recursion where I'm gonna use a certain uh, discretized version of my gamma distribution. And that's what you get uh, over here. So the one in blue is now referring to the CDF of S, but it's the CDF that I obtained via simulation, right? So that means if you think about how to construct a simula simulated value for this random variable S, then you would first have to generate the number of terms in the sum from a Poisson distribution with parameter lambda equal to 10 in this example. And then for the given simulated number of terms in the sum, you would have to draw independent gamma distributed outcomes from a gamma distribution with the given parameters. And you can do that once, you can do that 1,000 times, 10,000 times. And what I'm going to show here in black is the empirical CDF that I constructed from a certain number of simulated values from the distribution of S. I have to look up how many simulations we did. It's about, it's, uh, it's 1,000 simulations that we made over here. Then if you look at the magenta and the red, um, the red lines, we can, I'm not sure if I had the red over here, but in any case, magenta and red will be very close to each other. So that's what I get if I do the Panu recursion, where I use for the severity distribution, the arithmetized or the discre discretized severity distribution that I obtained either with the method of rounding or with the uh, local moment matching technique. If I use my blue and my green approximations, which we, which we didn't discuss, but which we pictured on, on the previous graph, so we know that those were more crude approximations for the gamma distribution. So you also see that the resulting uh, CDF for the compound sum, that that is uh, further away from what I would say is the true uh, uh, distribution of S obtained via simulation. Yeah, so that's that's the idea. We're capable of running the Panu recursion, but we need this um, we need this discretized distribution to approximate our gamma. And if we have it, we can do the Panu recursion. We can check here in simple examples that that leads us to a CDF that is close to the empirical CDF based on simulation, simulated values, large number of simulated values from the distribution of S. Yeah, and the advantage is of course, that with this Panu recursion, we can avoid the use of simulation. Any questions on that? It's always a hard part to teach, to explain, uh, but I definitely wanna say that I'm not gonna ask you know, really these technical details about how to construct the approximation. I think it's nice if you if you try to look at it and if you try to make better drawings than what I was capable of doing. 
But I, I think what I want you to keep in mind is this general principle, right? So if you look at a compound sum, uh, compound um, sum that expresses the total loss on a portfolio, right? Um, then try to explain for yourself, how would you be able to draw simulations from the distribution of S if you have a given distribution estimated for the number of terms in the sum and for the severity of each of the terms in the sum, how would you draw simulations then from the resulting compound loss S? And how would you um, think about using this panel recursion in order to get, get grip via recursive scheme on the distribution of this, of this S? Yeah, that's the main, that's the main idea here. Any questions? Anything you want to add? 